Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's nice to be sewing with you today. Behind me I have an old quilt that was unfinished when I purchased it at a thrift store. It's very quirky kind of quilt. Um, I like all the different colors. It's kind of a crazy quilt, but there was a basic design that the quilter I believe started with and that was a nine patch with these sort of bars. They're not squares, like a square and a square. It's sort of like a rectangle. So I'm gonna show you how to make this nine patch. Let's get started. Here's a close up of one of those nine patches that I mentioned and that I'll be sharing about today. And as you can see, they were not all made the same. I believe this quilter just had some leftover fabric and many of the nine patches match, but uh, this nine patch obviously doesn't and then there were some just some very very scrappy blocks in this quilt and here's another one where the orange is in the center so i'm going to show you how i'm going to make a nine patch sort of fashioned after this very old quilt i have some bars there that are three by four inches and then i have some scraps that i'm going to be using for my corner triangles the smaller side of the rectangle bars I cut three inch squares and then I cut those three inch squares in half diagonally. For the longer side of my rectangle bar I used a four inch square and I cut that in half diagonally as well. So I'll add those smaller triangles to the short sides and the larger triangles to the longer sides of this orange rectangle. And I'm gonna call it a brick. I'm calling this block bricks on point. my block was pressed I brought it over here to my cutting table I cut those little ears off that were hanging off on the inside and now I'm going to trim this block to five inches I gave myself a little stack of those three inch squares cut in half and the four inch squares cut in half and I sat down at my machine and I started sewing the triangles onto my bricks. Um, at first I was matching the two ends and then after I got going here I started mixing them all up.
For all of my bricks were trimmed to five inches. I laid them out on my sewing table here and I am this time with my first block I'm going to have all those bricks tilted at the same direction. The rectangle uh, is they're all going the same way and in the old quilt some were going the same way but the quilter also had some going the opposite way. So for this first one I will make it more uniform and I didn't like those two triangles right next to each other, that dark fabric. I moved it so that they would be separated a little bit. But uh, this is a very scrappy kind of quilt block and it's going to make a really fun quilt. the inspiration for our quilt block today, this vintage quilt that incorporates a lot of those brick blocks, but as you can see there were a lot of other scraps thrown in here too, some string blocks and some other shapes that make this a really fun, interesting quilt. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.